guys welcome back to my channel so today I am doing my Valentine's Day look it's more of a chit chat get ready with me I didn't want to do just a standard eye makeup look before we start though check out how cute my shirt is I picked it up from Etsy from this company called Static. I will link it down below. All of their shirts are super cute. They have a lot of graphic tees, so if you want to check them out, you should. I already started with my base. I just wanted to focus on the eyes and the lips today. So for my base, when I have a fake tan, which believe it or not, this is a fake tan, <laughs> I use the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter. I get mine in the shade 200 Nude. Then I've got my tried and true Tarte Shape Tape. Pretty sure I'm going to die with this in my hand one day. It is in Fair Light Neutral. And then to set my face, I have been currently using the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. This stuff is awesome and I just started seeing it at Target. Or I'm sorry, I just started seeing it at Walmart. Actually, no, I saw it at Target too. That wasn't a lie. <laughs> so pick it up, it's got a nice little poof in it. So, you know. And to start, uh, it's winter time, so my lips are chapped. I have been living for this Nivea Strawberry Chapstick. It's been awesome because it has a little bit of color to it and it hydrates your lips, so on days where you don't wanna do a whole lot, this is great, but I just used this in the beginning just to hydrate. So I've had this palette for a little while now. It is the ColourPop element of surprise palette thought this would be good because i'm obsessed with this pink shade right here and we're going to use a couple of the brown tones as well so i'm actually going to start out with this little color here so while i'm doing this this is kind of like an informal i don't even really know quite what i'm doing i just wanted to pop on here and just film something so a couple of years ago i would say 2011 is when this happened I was actually dating someone long distance at the time he lived in Florida I live in North Carolina we met through mutual friends and just decided like let's give it a whirl let's see how this goes he was the laziest boyfriend I've ever had in my life so I would fly and see him he came here I think once we dated for almost a year. So during that time, if you're new to my channel, I'm a hairstylist and I was working, this was before I had my suite, obviously, because I've only had that for like two years now. I was working in a different salon and I had a client who would come in regularly for blowouts. It was a male client, which is kind of unheard of for male clients. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about my makeup in between. I'm gonna go in with this pink shade just on my lids. Anyways, he would come in for blowouts each week and he was a very nice guy, but he was a very intense looking guy. He would wear like these ice blue gray contacts, which would just look very unnatural. So it looked like he was like this when he was just like chilling. He had, let me just describe to you guys like what this guy looked like. So the reason he would get blowouts is because basically he had a like a bob, if you're familiar with like bobs. <laughs> usually they're women that have them. Men can have them, but they don't usually like style them. Well, this guy had a bob and he would just kind of, he had wave in his hair. He would want it completely straightened back, no part and then he would want to have it hairsprayed into place. So if you're following along right now, it was basically a helmet. This guy had thick hair that was a bob, straightened back and hairsprayed the living heck out of. I'm gonna go in with this like mauve berry shade. So anyways, he came in pretty much every week and I was the stylist that he would come to. Well, he was a nice guy, but he would constantly like be asking me out on dates. And I was like, unfortunately, I have a boyfriend, like I'm sorry. And I would change the subject. Well, this guy just was persistent for whatever reason. And me being the like 
polite person I am. I just don't know how to like tell people no. I didn't hang out with him if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I just didn't want to be rude and he was a paying client. I'm gonna take this shade and this shade on the bottom lid. So the reason I started out talking about having a boyfriend in the beginning was we had been dating probably about six months at this point and I had celebrated Valentine's Day with him in Florida prior to Valentine's Day because we weren't actually going to be together. When I say he's the laziest boyfriend, he just literally re-gifted <laughs> a gift that was supposed to be for another girl at some other point that he found in his van. And the only reason I know it was re-gifted was because he told me and I was like, that is so romantic, babe. Thank you so much. Like. At this point I was kind of starting to be over this relationship anyways because anyways that's a whole other story. I'm going to switch real fast to the uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe, which one is this? Bling Boss palette. Yeet! I'm going to take this like pink shimmer and put it on my eyelid with my finger. Ooh yeah that's cute. But so we had already celebrated so I come into work on Valentine's Day. And I came in at like 11 o'clock that day, so I wasn't the first one there. One of my best friends, Mackenzie, worked with me at the time, and she was looking like she wanted to tell me something, but was like holding it in. So I was like, what the heck? And I go to my station, and there is an entire display for Valentine's Day for me. And I was like, wow, that's so crazy. Like my boyfriend and I had already celebrated, like, what is all of this for? <laughs> well, it turns out that it was from my client, the one, the man Bob. Even though I had told him numerous times I had a boyfriend and politely declined all of his offers, he still decided to send me an entire display. And it included a dozen roses, a bear, a balloon, just multiple things. Like I'm gonna include a photo with like a, a timestamp so that you guys can see that I did not make this up. And the card was like wishing you a dozen smiles and then his name and I was just like, uh, what's going on here? So then my friend just like, Die. She's like, I wanted to tell you it wasn't from your boyfriend, but I, I needed you to see. And I was like, thank you so much for, you know, that surprise. So at this point, like I said, I'm too polite and too nice that everyone's like, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to like call him? Are you going to just ignore it, act like it didn't happen? And me, I was like, this thing cost a lot of money. Like it costs a bunch of money to send something like that. I was like, I'm going to have to call him, but I'm going to call him from the salon so that he doesn't have my personal number. Before I finish the eyes, I'm going to just start like contouring. I have other videos on how I do this, so I'm just going to kind of zip through it. I will be using the Profusion Sculpt and Glow Kit. It looks like this. I got it from Target. So I was like, I'm just going to call him from the salon so that he doesn't have my personal number. So I waited until like the end of the work day, which for me that day it was like eight or nine o'clock. And I was like, okay, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Like this guy's probably freaking out knowing that he sent me this entire thing and I haven't said anything. So I have the girl working the front desk pull up his number and I'm like, okay, I've already like practice what I'm going to say <laughs> like I practice everything I'm gonna say whether it's like at a restaurant or calling like to make an appointment for something and so I call and I'm just like crossing my fingers that he doesn't answer because then I can just leave a message and thankfully he did not answer so I left a message and I was like oh my god I'm in the clear like this is the best I'm in the clear the next morning we had like a meeting at work and the front desk like came back and was like, hey Sierra, like you keep getting these phone calls. And I was like, from who? Like I have a cell phone. <laughs> like what client's trying to get in that bad? 
So they're like, um, it's from the guy that sent you all the Valentine stuff. And I was like, well, just take a message, I guess. I don't, first off, have time to talk to him. And second off, don't want to talk to him. <laughs> like I said my thing, I thanked him and just left it at that. And so they're like, okay, whatever. This is the blush I'm using. It is from Tarte. So they took a message and they came back with the message and they were like, yeah, he wanted to know that, ye well, okay. And let me say really fast, before he had said this, I hadn't seen him in like a couple weeks or so. And I was just like, well, maybe he's just getting his hair blown out somewhere else. And it turns out in the message, he said that he had moved to a different state, but he was in town for like some conference or like a business meeting or something. And wanted to know if I would meet up with him that night and they were like uh well you you would have to talk to her and he kept asking for my phone number they're like sir we can't just give her phone number out that's just not how it works and he called multiple times and so finally they just were like dude sorry like it's not gonna happen and so he finally got the hint but I like did not go out that entire weekend and at this time I was like 22 years old so I was like trying to go out as much as I could because I loved hanging out with my friends downtown but I did not want to like run into this guy so yeah um the best thing I like the best advice I can give for like clients that are being persistent like that is to just like be straight up with them and say you know I value your time and I value you as a client, but you know, you have to be direct. Like I had told this guy so many different times and I was lucky because I had a front desk that would kind of handle it for me. But yeah, it was crazy. And then I didn't hear from him again. And so I don't know what became of him. The funniest part was I am just a little petty Betty. And since my boyfriend had given me the world's worst Valentine's Day gift, I had snapped a photo and texted it to him. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. This is so sweet. He was like, is that your station? I was like, yeah, isn't this from you? And he was like, no. And I was like, I know it's from a client. Like my clients treat me better than you do. It was like so ridiculous, but we're not together. Thank goodness. So yeah, that is my story on how I had a low-key stalker. I'm just very lucky that he didn't try to contact me anymore and that it was just like as simple as it was but it was still crazy because like you should be able to say you have a boyfriend and you don't want to date someone and they should respect that so some people do some people do not. For my bottom liner, I am just using Tarte's Sex Kitten Pencil, and then I'm going to line my upper lids with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I prefer this one to the glossy one because I just feel like, I don't know, I like a more mattified wing. I am not a really big Valentine's person. I just haven't really ever had like, I mean I have had valentines, but I don't know. I just think it's kind of overrated a little bit. I want more of a brown in my crease. I'm going to find a brown really fast. Okay, so I'm just going to take this medium sculpt in that same palette and just work that into the crease a little bit more just because I feel like very berry <laughs> which is fine but I want a little more depth have you guys ever dealt with anyone that sends you gifts unannounced and unsolicited I want to hear y'all's stories so comment below if you had a situation where you tell somebody you are dating someone and you still get sent gifts or what have you I'm just going to curl my lashes to prep for my falsies and I'm going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, my eyebrows, I told you my base, I didn't tell you my brows. 
My eyebrows, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. Um, I kind of got away from the Dip Brow because I was liking using like a pencil, but then I just was having a hard time getting them like nice and sharp. So I went ahead back to the Dip Brow and I am so glad that I did. I am just going to apply lashes really fast because I suck at them on camera. Just to tell you guys what I'm using, this is the Ardell Studio FX Wispies. Um, so it just puts two different wispy lashes together and then creates a nice little flare. So I'm going to put these on. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that lashes are on, we're going to talk about the lips. So my favorite lip liner that I've been using lately is the Charlotte Silbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. So I'm just going to lightly line my lips. Nice thing about having a chapstick on is I feel like it just makes your lip liner just glide on so much easier. And then for actual lipstick, I will be using the Tartiste Lip Paint in this shade Exposed. And because I don't love like a matte lip, I just, I like how it looks, but I don't like how it feels. I'm going to be using the Tarte Lip Sculptor in just the lip gloss side in this color called Treat. And then to set everything, I'm going to use my NYX Dewy Finish. Mm, that is so refreshing. I could spray that on my face all day. <laughs> so this is the final look. I'm pretty happy actually with how it came out considering I didn't really have um, a plan in place. I had a story in place but not a makeup look place. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And if you like this kind of video, a little bit more of the storytelling, I could do more of those. But yeah, I think that's it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.